I bother with a charger for effect? My phone fell off the bat. Dude, just put it on this. What? No cables? Yep. Uh, how? Magnets. A magnet is an object that gives off a magnetic field. This field is created by the motion of electrons in the atoms of the material. We represent the magnetic field using field lines. We call the end where the lines leave the magnet the North Pole, and the end where the lines enter the South Pole. Watch what happens when we place these two bar magnets next to each other. When we place op opposite poles of the magnets next to each other, they attract. When the same poles are placed together, they repel. However, there are other ways to produce magnetic fields. For example, running an electric current through a wire also generates a magnetic field. The field lines of this magnetic field form loops around the wire. What happens when we run a current through a coil of wire? When a current is run through a coil, we observe that the loops of magnetic fields sum together to form a field that goes straight through the center of the coil. But what happens if you put a magnetic field through a coil? We observe that a current gets induced in the coil. But is this true for any magnetic field? This was tested by 19th century physicist Michael Faraday. What Faraday did was he wrapped a wire connected to a battery with a switch and a wire connected to an ammeter to a magnetic core. When we closed the switch, the right circuit ammeter would sharply spike up and then go back to zero. Opening the switch also caused the ammeter to spike. Consequently, Faraday's experiment confirmed that a changing magnetic field in a coil of wire induces a current. This concept explains how the power mat and wireless charging work. When we look inside of the power mat and case, we see that they're both coils of wire. The mat sends a changing magnetic field through the coil in the phone case, which induces a current that then charges the phone. Wow, amazing. Think of all the possible ways we can use this technology in our everyday lives. If we install similar coils in our electronic devices, there would never be a need for a charging cord ever again. In fact, Starbucks has begun installing power mats into their tables so that people can wirelessly charge their devices in the store. Wireless charging has a promising future. Although it seems complicated, it is achieved with a simple application of Faraday's Law of Induction.